Okay, come on, I got one coming in, and got it. Hi, I'm Jose. How can I measure this? Ah, okay, everyone to stations. Danny, what do you have? All right, there's lots of ways to measure matter. It just depends on what property you want to measure. You could, for example, measure its length, width, and height with a metric ruler, or its mass with a balance. Yep, and once you know the length, width, and height, you can calculate the volume of an object like this. And you can use a balance to measure the mass of an object. And once you know the volume and mass, you can calculate an object's density. All right, let's see if Hazen can show us a little bit more on measuring matter. Okay, here, there we go, all right. Hey, here we have a block of ice. We can measure its mass and we can calculate its volume by taking measurements of its sides and by using this formula. Okay. All right, with this information, we can calculate its density. Now, let's see what happens to those measurements when we melt this block of ice. It seems that its volume is smaller than that of frozen ice, but its mass is about the same. If we try to calculate its density, we can see that the density of cold liquid water is greater than that of frozen ice. This explains why ice cubes float in glasses of water. Well, back to you all at the clubhouse. Thanks, Hazen. Danny, you ready to get it started? So calculating the volume of something like a cube, you need to know its length, width, and height. But what about measuring something like this rock? Well, we can find its mass using a balance, but what if we need to know the density? You can't measure the length, width, and height using a ruler. And without those measurements, you can't calculate the rock's volume. And get this, way back over 2,000 years ago, a mathematician named Archimedes developed a method to measure the volume of irregular shaped objects. You can just put this rock in water and measure how much the water level rises. <laughs> and that equals the volume of the rock. Pretty cool, huh? And now that I know the mass and the volume, I can calculate its density. Wow, it seems like math and science can solve just about any problem. Hmm, I wonder if there's another way we can think about this. It's not nice to ask what a lady weighs, nor inquire the size of her ring. Although she looks small and her ring looks big, we must ask a few more things. Because she is made of muscle, and her ring is made of glass. Don't get yourself in trouble, confusing weight with mass. Measurement matters Whether solid, liquid, gas How we measure matter matters Be it grams or liters or in cubic decimeters Be it grams or liters or in cubic decimeters Be it grams or liters or in cubic decimeters <laughs> so there are lots of ways to measure the properties of an object. Scientists use different tools and formulas to measure the mass, volume, and density of objects. By learning how to measure matter, you can observe and describe the world in a much more scientific way. Yep, so get out there with your rulers and never stop exploring your world. Speaking of, check this out.